So welcome to the channel guys. Uh, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to auto redirect user to login page or home page. So if you see, uh, if so if you see logged in, we will show the home page. If you see not logged in, we will show user uh, the login page. So user can log in. So first of all, we have uh, our splash page uh, in the main dot We have the uh, main function main method uh, we initialize some functions in here five we initialize firebase initialize uh, the dependencies and loading fonts and in the uh, our material app we show splash page we what you which you see it's basically it's basically a, a image it's just a image showing and we also have another page called sign in page it is this page and we also have home page which is this page so what we want to do, we want to show when when you uploads when uploads for the first time or for uploads, we want to show the splash page, right? So this one, and after few seconds, we want to show this splash page splash page for few seconds, and after that, we want to check if user is logged in or not. If user is logged in, then we want to redirect user to the home page, otherwise to the sign in page. So let's go to the sign in, uh, splash page. So splash page is basically a, a stateful widget because uh, we're using state, mm -hmm. stateful widget because uh, we want to use the init state. So the build method is very simple. It's just a size box mm -hmm. with uh, taking a screen with a height and showing an image. Mm -hmm. So in the init state, uh, what you want to do in the splash page, we want to show this splash page for mm -hmm. a few seconds and redirect user check if user is logged in and and redirect uh, to the screens depending on the user is logged in or not so i'm going to use this init state to do that so the, if you don't know init state is if uh, init state is called this init state is called when user uh, when this widget is created first time so in this when, when in the init state we we can Add, add our logic uh, which is uh, checking if user is logged in and uh, redirecting to this uh, related, related screen so first of all we don't need to redirect user immediately so if i do that if i do if i do this uh, in here it will redirect immediately when immediately to the sign in page we don't need to do that we need to uh, wait for a few seconds that's why we are doing to wait for a few seconds we're doing a feature dot delay and we we are waiting for five seconds in here and then calling root to choose the function where we can give the method to call after or method to execute after this wait so in this root user what do we have to do in this root user first we'll have to do check if user is signed in if signed in redirect redirect to the home page else redirect to login screen login page so how do we check if this is signed in when i'm doing that in in here if you watch the previous if you watch the previous two videos we have all we have uh, our auth repo i'm gonna create a auth, uh, i'm gonna create a method for checking if user is signed in or not so i'm using firebase in here i will also tell you how to use if you're using uh, rest apis uh, instead of firebase backend uh just i will i will explain both of them just uh so now let's create a method which returns a future uh, i'm not sure it is a future let's say future bool boolean value so check if user signed in So you know to get you don't need to get anything in here so we want to check if user auth uh, uh current user 
is not null. We can get the current user in here, like uh, I was of the instance current user. If you see signed, if you see signed in already, if you so it's already signed in, this use is not null. If if this is null, that means use is not signed in. So we can check if we can re we can check our if final uh, authenticated. equals user is not null if user is not null that means user is authenticated so we can just return this authenticated in here uh it's not a feature so we don't have to await i think we can do this like this not a synchronous function uh so we can return this authenticated so we are using three lines yeah um, i just showed you how it works but we don't need three lines. We can just do auth current user is not null. We can remove these two lines. Very simple. So this is because if you're using Fireless, if you're using uh, REST API, you're using you you're basically doing what you're in most cases you're doing. Uh, we are you're getting a access token you're uh, saving that access token in the da database and on our database we can just use shared preferences or database or local database so you check if you if you have saved this access token in the database so you try to fetch it if you if you have if you don't get a value for that access token then you return false because if there's an access access token that means you have user has signed in if there's no access token saved that means user is not signed in in this case it is very simple uh in here because uh i'm using fibers in here so what you're gonna do in here i'm gonna call this auth report this function and check if user is signed in so the value should be final authenticated equals to lc we call it locator which we just basically calling all triple and this function okay so, so this is service locator pattern if you don't know what that is you can check uh, my uh, there's a um tutorial for that one as well but we're basically doing is we're accessing this authentication repo this instance and calling this check if uh, this function so all lc Report. check if it was assigned in so authenticated is, is a boolean value so if what you have to do in here if yes is signed in if uh, let's actually call in uh, signed in so if signed in we can redirect user to the home page This is the home page, right? And else, we can redirect users to the sign in page. So if user is signed in, we check if user is signed in with this method. And if user is signed in, we redirect uh, users to the home page. And otherwise, we redirect users to the sign in page. So there's a one more thing we need to check, we, we need to consider. Uh, let's actually let's get this one here like this so we are doing push replacement instead of push uh, if if we're doing push in here navigate push context and material uh, that like that if you're doing this one instead of push replacement then it will just push a new screen on top of the splash page but the problem with that is you you can go back to the uh, splash page we don't need that if you we, we need to show a splash page and after a few seconds we need to redirect user to the home page or sign in page we don't need to use it you don't need user to go back to splash page so we need to replace that so push replacement that's why you're using push replacement here so to, to summarize in the splash page we are we are in the init state we are doing, doing some delay in here 
and after some delay after five seconds delay we are calling this root user function in this root user function we are checking if user is signed in if signed in we we are because if user signed in you, you need to redirect user to the home page and if it is not you need to redirect user to the sign in page okay we did that uh, just now and we'll let, let's check this one so i'm gonna hot restart this so we are showing home page uh splash page sorry and after that uh because i have already signed in uh i'm redirected to the home authentication page actually uh, the home page so let's check actually uh, let's print print this actually Just to check uh, if I did it all right. So yeah, uh, we have I have already signed in. That's why I am redirecting to the homepage. So let's try to uh, let's try to log out the user. Let's try to log out, and uh, actually we have to create a logout method as well. So this is just. Uh, Let's create a logout function, which basically does auth in auth dot logout uh, sign out sign out. That's it. So I'm gonna use this in home page. Uh, let's go for this home page and and the top row. Oh, sorry, in the top row, I want to go. I want to add the sign out event into this one. So this is the icon, this is the add icon, and after that, this is the logout icon. What I want to do in here, LC, I want to access this auth repo. Auth repo. And sign out, call sign out, actually, logout, I, I renamed it, I named it as logout. Logout, and after that, we want to redirect user to the yeah we are redirect user to the sign in page so push uh has to be pop uh push and remove until so a new route will be because we want to remove all of the routes we want to remove all the all of the routes routes uh after logging in because after logging after we, we redirect it back to the Sign in screen. We don't need. We don't need user to go back to the home screen. Oh. So this is a material page root, and tilde is checking context, getting context, and we are pushing a sign in page. Okay. So like this. Now it's all okay. After logging out, we have to redirect the user. Or we have to remove all the all of the screens and re uh, redirect to the sign page. So let's check this one. If I got that. Yeah, it will redirect. It will log out and redirect to the sign page. So now let's check the because we have already signed out. Now we have we are signed out. So let's check the let's check the hot restart. That's showing a splash page for five seconds. And after that, we are redirected to the login, login screen because we are have we have authentic, uh, log out. We have logged out. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. So if you learned something, uh, smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's meet in the next video.